Here. So listen, Chris Evans recently said he's avoiding hosting SNL because he says it terrifies him. But they say there is value in doing things that scare you. So do we agree, ladies? Yeah. Oh my gosh. Yeah. But how do you get over the paralyzing fear? Like yeah. I have this situation right now where I've been invited to participate in this charity event, great organization that raises money for underprivileged youth in Toronto and South Africa. And the event, the charity event, it's um, many, many year over the years, it's always a debate, but the debate is supposed to be humorous. So basically the funniest person wins. And we're debating this year in October, it's something between the lines of like, what's the best sport, uh, basketball or hockey? And so I want to take the hockey side and debate it. And immediately oh, I was yes. like, this is going to be so funny. And I was, you know, the, the organizers waiting for my email, but I'm terrified to actually commit. Like last night I was like, nope, I'm out of it. And someone's like, I support you no matter what. And then this morning, like, yep, I'm in. He's like, I support you no matter what. <laughs> I don't know. Oh. But I think the fear, the fear is, is the fear good? Yeah. I think you have to do it. I think you have to. Where are you at right now with it? Uh, uh, like <laughs> one foot here, one like I keep going back. I and think forth. what's the end yeah. result? Like here's the thing: if you can focus on the end result, being that it's for this great cause, and get out of your own way, if that's the yeah. then you can do it. You can get out of your own way and yeah. do it. Get out of my own way. Get get, give way. me a pen. Get out of your <laughs> own way. <laughs> But that's a good reason. Like that's a motivating factor for me. I have a very similar. Like, I'm afraid. I'm desperately afraid of public speaking, and which is curious work I've chosen. <laughs> you know? No, but I mean, I, I'm Cynthia, sure say hello to Canada. Hello. Hello. Canada. I'm definitely afraid. <laughs> You're doing great. It's different I, though. It, well, I, I will avoid. Like you gravitate towards a microphone and an audience, and it is your. It, you, I, I admire it so much in you. For yeah. me, it is like I worked for years behind the camera when I decided to go in front of the camera out of a move of desperation to save my job, I was so <laughs> petrified that I couldn't even string a sentence together. And there's early footage of me out there that I would be mortified oh. to see. And yet the process of taking baby steps and getting out of my own way has been very rewarding. But if you ask me today to just do a speaking engagement for something, I will probably say no. Like just yeah. for, if there's no like reason to do it, mm. I don't want to put myself in that position. The anxiety. To, the anxiety, the lead up. I, I, but I'm, don't you think that when we get older, that's the sad thing that we do lose <sighs> is we stop taking risks? Yeah. I think, I think for some people, it's an understandable risk. Like if you've got a mortgage and you've got kids or a university education to pay for, there's sometimes a financial reason why it's not not like, oh, I'm gonna go make a career change or do something really risky. But on the other hand, like, what's the point of life if we stop being scared and stop growing? Because to me, that's what the scared is a no, representation. But sometimes you of. just wanna have comforts. As you get older, there's nice things about sure. just doing Like, I'm never gonna do a but CN what about Tower for your walk. Kids? There's no, I'm yeah. not, just I'm don't doing one tomorrow. Oh my <laughs> God! I am! Are you there? I'll see you there. I'll, I'll call you. Okay. You can change your mind. Uh, I, I don't but want don't to. don't you think for your son now, for me, it's for my daughter, it's something very powerful for your children to see you passionate, for your children to see you scared, for your children to see you try something new, even if there's a fear of failure. And I know for me, I, um, I auditioned for something not, like last year, something really big. It was never going to take me away from the show, don't worry. But it was something <laughs> really big, and I really wanted it, and I didn't get it. I didn't get it, and I thought for sure I would get it. And I talked my to my daughter about this whole process because I wanted her to see, take a chance, be scared. Sometimes you're gonna win. Mommy failed, but I'm okay. Yeah. You know, and I think there is, there's a process that sometimes we forget when some other little person is watching us yeah, that's very powerful. Yeah. yeah. Oh my God, and you just took off your hair. And I took off my hair. <laughs> <laughs> see, listen, taking off my hair is the scariest thing I've done in the last decade. <laughs> Thanks for watching. We've got lots more discussion and debates on everything from food and fashion to pop culture and current events. Don't forget to click like and subscribe.